your dreams and your life. What did I say? Your dreams and your life. Please pay attention. I don't want to spend too much time. I just want to say one or two things and we go into prayers. Your dreams and your life. Beloved, in this last days, one of the things that is pivotal and very instrumental for your success, one of the things that is key to you becoming who God wants you to be or be at the forefront of your destiny, one of the things that is imperative that you must not joke with is your dream life. It's unfortunate that many people are paying for this spiritual ignorance. They are, no, they are so ignorant of their dream life, they've neglected it. Things they used to do that turned them to a, a powerhouse in their dream life, they are no more doing it anymore. There are people listening to me now, if you want to hear from God in the family, they are the ones that you come and meet. Why? Because God will always speak to them about everyone in the family. But unfortunately, we, the one that is supposed to be the voice of God in the family is no more seen anymore. And that's why the enemy is prevailing. When I see disasters happening, tragedies happening, you see the situation of, I was telling some people in Nigeria, I said, look, I know things are bad, you know, because when they say things are bad, things are bad. Very, very bad. Very, 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 very bad. Things have gone up. People cannot feed themselves anymore. People cannot feed themselves anymore. When you, you look at look at Nigeria, for instance, look at most places. The major job now is no more banking job. It's kidnapping. Kidnapping is on the increase. And that's why it's important. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you will just travel and that will be your last journey. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. We have gotten to the realm, the time that you must know, you must hear from God. People are suffering, there is all. It's never the fault of God. Our God is not a wicked person. Let every man be a liar, but let God be true. Please, if you are going to doubt anybody, doubt yourself. Don't doubt God. Doubt your doubt. Doubt your doubt. In the last days, they are, which we are now, there is increase of spiritual warfare. The spiritual environment has become thickened. You sit down to pray before, within 30 minutes you have broken into the heavens. But now you need to spend hours. And I'm sad because when, even as a pastor, and I see other servants of God telling me, Pastor, I agree with you, to break in before God now is becoming tedious. And it brings to mind the scripture Isaiah chapter 60. He said, gross darkness shall what shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. We have enough darkness already, but he said gross darkness shall cover again. That means darkness, there's double thick darkness. That's why you can't play with your life. You can't play with your spiritual life. It's very easy to be distracted now. You have to be strong in the Lord and in the what? In the power of his mind. Look at somebody by your side. Say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. In Genesis chapter 15, from verse 12 to 12 to 15. Genesis 15, 12 to 15. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham. One of the most important tools for God to speak to a man is your dream life. And one thing you should understand is that that is why every time before you sleep, you must position your tripartite being, your spirit, your soul, your body, everything must be in sync with the Holy Ghost. You cannot go to bed with anger. You cannot go to bed with gossip. It is foolishness to be watching YouTube and Facebook and you fall asleep from there. They will slap you when you sleep. Load your spirit man with the word of God. Go to bed with the word of God. Go to bed with songs 
of, of heaven. Go to bed with the spirit. Not you are watching skit. You watch one skit and you are laughing, you are laughing, you are laughing and you go to bed, wishes will attack you. To be carnally minded is what? Is death. But to be spiritually minded is life. Every works of the flesh will bring, make you vulnerable. Every work of the flesh will make you vulnerable. You can't afford, you cannot afford to, to just expose yourself just like that. The Bible says, walk in the spirit. Can you tell somebody, say walk. What did I say? Dreams are symbolic and metaphorical. They are symbolic and metaphor. Metaphorical dark sayings. The Bible mentioned dream over 250 times. The Bible mentioned dreams 250 times. Dreams have language and no dream is meaningless. Dreams have language. Listen to me. The greater your intimacy with God, the greater God will speak to you. The greater your intimacy with God, the greater God will speak to you. The origin and the authenticity of a dream is determined by who takes the glory at the end. That is why if you want to know how a dream will go, check the end of that dream. Oh my God, please pay attention to what I'm saying. The end of every dream is very important to you. It's not how it started, but how that dream what ended. Very, very important. Dreams can add to you or subtract from you. Dreams can promote or demote. The dream life is a meeting place between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. Many transactions are taking place in the dream. Many transactions. Many, many transactions. Many, many transactions. A man got a job in the day and by the time he slept, he was to resume in two weeks' time. He said he slept, he had a dream, and somebody came to him and said, The letter they gave you to re report resume in that place of work. Where is it? He said, This is it. And he collected it and tore it. And by a week later, the same company sent a message and said, Sorry, we are no more recruiting you. Dream is like a spiritual market. I've seen a woman who saw herself and her children in a shop and they put for sale on all of them. They put for sale on her and her children and she woke up because she don't know, she's been saying, Pastor, what is happening to me and my family? And she had that dream. Then she discovered what has happened to her and her children. They have sold them. Close your eyes where you are. Let me see the mother that is going to pray now. Say, Power! Assigned to sell me and my children in the market of life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Yeah! 